Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary from marysnest.com and here on my YouTube channel I share traditional recipes for making nutrient-dense foods using simple ingredients. And today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry vinegar from nothing more than strawberry scraps. Well I've washed these strawberries and I'm going to get ready to hull them and show you how I make vinegar from these scraps. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you'd like to learn more about traditional foods cooking, please subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell down below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, let's get started. So as I said, I'm just going to hull these. You can cut the tops right off like this and just dump them in a jar. Or you can do the more traditional hull where you kind of take out the center. Either way is fine. It doesn't matter. Whatever way you like to hull your strawberries is fine. The bottom line is save all the scraps. Well, let me get all these hulled and get this jar filled with the strawberry scraps and I'll be right back. Well, I cleaned up my strawberries and put them to the side. I'll make a fruit salad with those later. And I've got all the tops in this half gallon mason jar. And the, the step to make vinegar is so easy. All we have to do is take some spring water. We're just going to fill the jar just like that. One, two, three. Pretty close to the rim. Leave a little space there. And then we're just going to take a quarter cup of sugar. White sugar is perfect for this. This is organic white sugar. So we're just going to take a quarter cup. We're going to pour that right down on top of it. And then we're going to use a chopstick. You can use anything that you might have on hand, but the chopstick is really easy to do uh, when it comes to stirring this. And then all you do is just stir this around to get it well mixed. Get the sugar and the water mixed. And just keep stirring. And that's it. It couldn't be easier. I'm just going to top that off with a little bit more water. There we go. And then I'm going to put a coffee filter on top, put a rubber band to hold down the coffee filter that will keep the dust out. And then each day I'm going to stir this with the chopstick and in a few days you're going to start seeing bubbles will accumulate in here. And then in the top you're going to see some foam starting up. And then you just keep doing that and after a few more days add in another quarter cup of sugar, keep stirring every day, and about after a month it's going to turn into vinegar. And after about a month, once this turns into vinegar, you'll know it. You'll be able to smell it. <laughs> but if you're worried, you can also taste it and it'll taste like vinegar at that point, most likely. But one other thing that you can do is you can use these pH strips. And all you do is just pull out a little piece of this, dip it in, and see what color it turns. And what you'll be looking for is something 4.5 or lower. I normally find that after about a month, mine are down at 3.0, so they're nice and acidic. But that's a nice little thing to have in case you're just worried and you want to know exactly uh, how acidic your vinegar is. But the bottom line is it's not really a big problem unless you were going to use it for canning or something, which you wouldn't want to, uh, given that these are, you know, somewhat flavored vinegars. Uh, so after about a month, you'll be able to smell that it's vinegar, taste that it's vinegar, and then all you have to do is strain out the solids and then decant it into a bottle and you've got your nice fruit scrap vinegar. It's raw vinegar, it has the mother in it, and so it's really very nutritious. You can use some in water and make a beverage out of it. Uh, excellent for gut health, it's very probiotic rich. You can also uh, use it for a hair rinse if you want. You can use it for cleaning if you want. Pretty much any way that you would use any other vinegar. So it's a, but it, yet it's a wonderful savings because you've basically uh, made it for almost free. But given that this is a nice raw vinegar with the mother in it, and for a jar at my uh, local grocery store, I could wind up paying as much as $6.99 for that. So what I generally like to use these homemade vinegars for are salad dressings or adding into a little water to uh, just take as a nice little probiotic drink. 
And I have to thank Heidi at Rain Country Homestead who introduced me to making vinegar from fruit scraps. I knew that you could make them from apples to make homemade apple cider vinegar. And if you'd like to see me do that, I'd be happy to and just leave it in the comments below. But she said you can make vinegar out of pretty much anything and fruit scraps works beautifully. So be sure to go over and visit her channel because she's got a lot of videos on making all kinds of vinegar. Not just fruit scraps, but uh, from trees and flowers, all kinds of things. It's really very interesting. And I'll leave a link to her channel below. For printable instructions on how to make this fruit scrap vinegar, strawberry scrap vinegar specifically, please visit my website, marysnest.com. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and be sure to share it with your friends. And if you'd like to learn more about traditional foods cooking, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on the notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, that's all for today, but I enjoyed having you here, and I look forward to seeing you next time, right here in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.